Sunday, April 21st. Experiment 5 is about to commence. Um, only thing I'm doing differently this time is I've added a layer of perlite from the garden centre to further insulate the crucible. And as you've possibly seen in my two previous preparations, I've done a molochite magnetite silicon carbide stucco on the inner layer and then some outer layers of molochite around the outside of the crucible. Also note that instead of using aluminium in this experiment, I'm going to be using zinc. Zinc has a much lower melting point and doesn't have the same oxidation problems as aluminium. However, I have been warned that while pouring, if some of it gets into your skin, it will stick and burn rather than um, aluminium, which will generally tend to ping off. Nevertheless, I will still be wearing mask, gloves, everything else. Also to note that this should really be done outside because when you start getting zinc really hot, you get zinc oxide, which can be quite a nasty gas and you don't want to inhale it. So I will be holding my breath every time I take the lid off. So let's give this thing a whirl. And here are the results after 10 minutes. Let's give it a whirl, let's see what's happened. Mm -mm. A longer. Okay, after 25 minutes of cooking, this is the results. Stop, open. the inside of the box. Still no evidence of melting. We're now at about 40 minutes of cooking. I'm going to take it out prematurely and have a look. This is what it looks like after 40 minutes of cooking. And there's still no evidence of melting. What am I doing wrong here? It does however feel pretty damn hot. Okay, it's been about an hour's worth of cooking. I'm going to take it out and see what's happened. Okay, has the zinc melted? Hmm, do see any evidence of melting, but let's see, do a fire test, shall we? See if that burns. And it's not spontaneously igniting. But the paper is, however, burning somewhat. But zinc oxide. 